by the show of hands, if I gave you three options when it comes to investment, if I gave you an option of uh, buying land, or if I gave you an option of getting stocks in a stock exchange and stuff, or if I gave you an option of investing in a musician or in, a, in an artist, with the show of hands, who will choose investing in land? Who will choose investing in a musician or in an artist? Eh, who will choose stocks and stuff? I mean, it's evident you're, you're so Kenyan in a way that it's evident that the first thing you want to invest in is land. And of course, it's, you have a, a right cause why you should, because the first thing in, when it comes to land, you can speculate, you can project, you know, in five years, if you put your 20 shillings right now and buy a piece of property somewhere, in 20 year, or in five years, you'll, you'll get 25 shillings, or you can build a flat, or you can build a mall. You can easily speculate, yeah? So before I continue, let me just give you a brief about myself. As those young guys did, uh, introduce me. I'm, I'm called Giuliani. I'm a hippo artist, and I have a passion for community. And... When I was growing up as a hip-hop artist, I grew up in a slum called Dandora. It's like where the, all the 2,000 tons of dump from Nairobi ends up at. We are known for insecurity and we are known for, of course, not so good stuff and youth unemployment and all that. But years came and went and I managed to become a musician and I've been able to produce three albums. One of them is called Mta Mentality, so I was signed to a UK record company. So I, I managed to do my first album. My second album was uh, Pulpit Coast Street, so we managed to close off a street in, uh, between the city, uh, city Hall and, uh, and KCC, and we did a concert there, and I felt I was so cool when I did that. And then the third uh, album that I did, my latest is called Exponential Potential. I also was one of the first artists to win an award, so I, win like, I won like a million shillings. It was a lot of money then, and uh, I've been able to work with a lot of companies, World Bank, Google, my last concert I did in Mombasa, I did with Google, and I've been able to work with Safaricom. The reason why all this information is relevant is because of my background and where I come from. And when I was beginning my career, I could not tell how long it will take for me to become whoever I, whoever I want to become. I could not project, I didn't know what does it take and how much does it take for me to become whoever I want to be. Okay, that's the check, just to prove. <laughs> and um, so I, when I was here earlier, I met a friend of mine, a guy called Sadiq, a young guy who asked me a question, he, I think he speak after me, and he asked me questions about what does it take to become a hip hop artist and all this. And of course, you always have to throw in the one or two, the hard work, you have to always hard work, do your hard work, you have to do this. But the most important for me was you have to work. And basically work is that you perform as often as possible. The more you perform, the more you understand yourself, the more you understand your audience, and the more you understand your brand and who you, you can become. So that's the easiest thing. I, I, I mean, that's, the, that's what I know. But if he asks me a question like, like, what does it take for me? How much does it take for me? How long will it take for me to become a musician? I don't think I can answer that. And like any other business, I think we should be answering those questions. Because you're putting your time, you're putting your resources, so you need to know what's going to come out of it. So what did I do? Uh, for the last two years, from 2014 to 2016, I took time off from music, and we started doing this project. So I went back in my old neighborhood, and uh, we bought some property. This is just a building at the dam site close to a river, so we bought this land, and we thought, what's the first thing that you have to do when you want to build a product? The first thing, you have to take it to the factory. Of course, you have to take it from the farm, and then you take it to the factory. But for that product to become whatever it needs to become, it needs an inconducive environment for it to grow. So that's what it takes to become a musician. First, the development. So that's the space we built. It's like a three-story building, small. We have like 70 artists. 
We are trying to create an environment for them to grow and to become whatever they need to become. So these artists, we don't want to just be, you know my embers, isn't you? A mango, eh? We don't, we don't want you to be a mango on a tree. How, what, what will it take for you to be a mango on a tree and take it to a shelf in a supermarket and become a Del Monte or something? Yeah? It takes this development part, but also it takes that we need to have a marketplace. We need to have a supermarket. So what we created, we had an online platform. We invested in an online platform. It's called, my, oh, that's, those are still the, I like the, I like sharing off the pictures. So let me just scroll so that. So we've invested also in an, on, in an online platform called Mimesani. So Mimesani, what it does is that it's a supermarket for artists. So if you are an artist, that's where you go and, and people come to uh, check you out and, and to book you. But the problem is that it doesn't still solve the problem of putting in 20 shillings and getting back 25 shillings. So we create an, um, a back, a back, back in, um, text word for it, I don't know, a back end to it, so that when you book an artist, we can trace how many times he's been booked in a month or in a year, so that we can use that data to eventually invest or give him money or whatever he needs, so that we can come to people like you and tell him, instead of investing in land, you can also invest in art. The reason why you cannot invest in land, in an artist, and we have Nameless, we have Waire there, I, I hope you know them. The reason why you cannot invest in any other, in, in this kind of industry is because of the risk level. There's a lot of uncertainty. So that's what we're trying to minimize with this. We are not just trying to sort out a problem and so that we look cool and all. We are trying to create employment for young people. When it comes to music, there's a value chain. It's, it's more than just a performance. There's the guy who, who do the speakers. There's the guy who DJs. There's the guy who manages. There's all these value chains that we often forget and we need to actually look into really well and invest. So that's what, that's what we are trying to do. Uh, I've been doing for the last two years. And, uh, and this is what I've been trying to present to the world. So thank you for your years and uh, thank you for inviting me. Asante.